healing, salvation, and happiness. It's your season. It's your time. God has plans for your life to prosper you and to give you hope and a future. Join us and learn how God's love and power can bring hope and happiness to your life. This is your opportunity for motivation, encouragement, and purpose. Welcome, church family. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network, where we bring you the Lord's Word every day from some of the country's most inspiring churches and pastors. And today is no different. Let's check out one of the newest members of the Daily Gospel Network. We want to share with you, yeah, and your family, family. the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So tune in, tune in, and we will grow together to increase our faith with God with one touch in the streets. We're touching hearts and changing lives with one touch in the streets. We're here for you right now. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the One Touch Ministry broadcast right here on the Daily Gospel Network. I am Pastor Shannon Young, and this is Prophetess Naditra Young. She is in the house in the building, and I'm telling you, if you missed anything over the past two weeks, I want to encourage you to go to our YouTube channel yes. and listen to the word my wife gave. And last week we had our community event and oh goodness, everything has just been so blessed. And why don't you go ahead? I'll give you the opportunity to greet the people. Oh, okay. I get the opportunity <laughs> to greet the people. <laughs> God bless everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in with us here at the Daily Gospel. Listen, let me tell you something. One Touch Ministries is definitely on the move. And yes. we have been uh, spending a lot of time with um, our community, our partners, our members. And it has been such a blessing to my spirit. It's been a blessing to my heart. And I'm so excited because the next is about to be amazing. If you have not gotten excited about your next, it is time for you right now to get excited about your next don't worry about the future i'm talking about yes. the next step that you're about to take you got to be excited about it so i'm just so glad that we're able to come to you in your homes on today yes and um so speaking of next um tomorrow which is going to be the next step for one touch ministries is that we're welcoming in at this time any partners or members you want to become a member of One Touch Ministries, um, make sure that you uh, actually sign up on our website. Mm -hmm. Allow us to know that you want to partner with us or that you're interested in becoming a member of One Touch Ministries. Mm -hmm. And again, the information is right here on the bottom of the link. Uh, also, you can follow us on Facebook. You can follow us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be able to provide you with more information as well. And that's going to be on September 11th oh at 12 o'clock noon. And yes, we will Lord. send you a Zoom link. And we just want to give you um, information on how One Touch Ministry is going to be moving forward. Listen, when I tell you we are moving forward, we are moving forward. So make sure you join in with us. Yes. And so um, on today, we actually want to continue um, we've been talking about it's time to repair the breach. Yes. <clears throat> and one of those things that we uh, were talking about, actually we had a chance to do something with uh, married couples. It was called Repairing the Bedroom Ministry. Wow. And we got a chance <laughs> to dive deep. Now that right there, you definitely had to register. We did that only on Zoom. Yes, sir. We did it with couples. We had some married couples as well as we had a single couple that was in there. That's right. And we got a chance to minister and talk to them about how to um, go about um, being a couple. And if they're looking at marriage, you know, these are some of the things that we need to do 
as a as people who are in relationship with one mm-hmm. another mm-hmm. as well as if you're looking to get married yeah we will talk about the number one key is communication and we have to know how to communicate we have to learn how to be open and honest with each other and so today we're going to continue uh, it's time to repair the breach but the, the, the subject today is on marriage because we want to be be able to repair marriages. Yeah, you know, I, I really enjoyed this this time with all the couples. We had singles. We had um, people who were dating. Mm-hmm. We also had married couples that had been married for 20-some years. Yes. Um, we also had couples who were, and I guess when, in some people's eyes, will say newlyweds. Oh, y'all still newlyweds mm-hmm. after five years. Even though you've been married five years, six years, seven years, they say, oh, you're still newlyweds. Mm-hmm. But I praise God because we all got a chance to share our stories got a chance to share our lives um how we came together um the different struggles that we had in the marriages um everything is not about cheating all the time people say oh if you had struggles you probably was cheating no it's not about cheating sometimes you know when you take the vow when that vow of sickness and health yeah death do us part uh, uh, um, uh, rich or poor, rich or poor. <laughs> those, those, those words right there. Mm-hmm. Those words right there really um, impact a lot of marriages because you can get married today and then tomorrow your mate, your husband or your wife is sick. Mm-hmm. And I think one of the things that because when we talked about that a little bit, uh, one of the things that uh, one of the couples that was there, um, they were even the, the the husband was even saying, you know, I said. He, she, he said, I really didn't realize how much I really love my wife mm-hmm. until she became sick. Wow. And I was there to be able to actually, uh, you know, help support her, mm-hmm. help be there for her. Yes. And be able to encourage her and say, hey, honey, we're getting out of this together. We're going to be able to uh, build and, and everything else uh, wow. from here. And, and not to say that, you know, he didn't love her before. Uh, but you know, it was just like that, that vow, he took that vow and sickness and in health till death do us part, you know, and I even think about the time when you was in the hospital yes. and I was just like, you know, my wife had to literally tell me, honey, go home. I'm yeah. fine. It, everything's well. I'm under God's protection. And I'm just yeah. like, no, I got to be right here with you. Yeah. No. <laughs> because at the time, you know, I, I was in the hospital for over five days. Mm-hmm. And you you were working two jobs, mm-hmm. and you were still trying to come and see about me mm-hmm. in the middle of each job. Yes. And I had to let him know to free his mind because I needed him to continue to keep working, and mm-hmm. I needed him because at the end of the day, sick or no sick, them bills got to get paid. Yes, yes. <laughs> the bills got to get paid. Things got to get done in the home. We have mm-hmm. a child. You mm-hmm. know, we, we had to support her. I said, you have to, to get some rest. I said, I don't need you sick because I'm okay. Mm-hmm. I'm here in the hospital. I'm, I'm under God's protection. Mm-hmm. And then God has appointed and assigned nurses to me, doctors to me, and the angels are protecting me, yes. watching over me. So I needed to free his mind and <clears> let him <throat> know that I will be okay, that I'm, yes. I'm fine. You can work. You yes. know what I mean? And when it's time to come get me, come get me. Mm-hmm. You just be available to come get me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I praise God because he was available to come get me out of the hospital. And, um, you know, and then come to find out I was well. Mm-hmm. I was well. And because I... um. I, I don't like being sick. I had willpower. Yes. The willpower to get better. Yes. I said, I am in a sick position. Mm-hmm. I said, but I shall not stay here. That's right. You know, and I, I began to praise God. And, and it got so bad that the nurses mm-hmm. was getting upset because I would not ask for help. Mm-hmm. Because at the time I was a fall victim. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they were like, why aren't you asking us for help? We can help you in the shower. We can help walk around. I would not ask because I refused to take the word sick. I refused to take what the diagnosis was for me. I said, I have to move around in order to get healed. I got to walk. I got to walk Mm -hmm. this thing out. And when you're in a purpose and you have a purpose on your life and you have a a, a purpose-driven mind, you know, you have to learn how to walk. 
mm-hmm. and, and push. And, mm-hmm. and, 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 and sometimes you may have to drag a leg or pull that arm, but you've got to keep going because if you, if you say, if the doctor says you're sick and you stay in that mindset mm-hmm. of I'm sick, then you know that's what right. you're going to be? Sick. Yep. And I believe that's going to help a whole lot of people that's watching us today. Yeah. Is that, you know, you, you have to have that mindset. The Bible says, let this mind be in you that was on, also in on. Christ Jesus. So, you know, there, the, the Bible also says that death and life is in the power of the tongue. And so, you know, you have to speak wellness into your life. You have yes. to speak healing into your life. Sometimes you have to st- take a, a step of faith, take a leap of faith wow. to believe like that, that you are healed. And so one of the scripture reference that we came from, it says here in Isaiah 58. Mm -hmm. And I'm reading for the New Century Version. This is your version of the Bible, honey, that you like to read. New Century Version. (laughs) It says here, your people will build the old cities Mm -hmm. that are now in ruins. You will rebuild their foundations. You will be known for repairing the broken places. And so this is what we're kind of focusing on. We're focusing on yes. repairing those broken places. Come on now. Repairing those things. And for rebuilding the roads and houses. Wow. And so um, this is what we're talking about. We're talking about repairing the breach. If you read the King James Version, it says you'll be known as repairers of the breach. Uh, uh, rebuilders of, of of waste places Come on. and so one of the places that need to be rebuilt right now that we're saying is that re- marriages need to be rebuilt Come on. The enemy has put out there things about marriage that is not according to the Bible come on, come on. The Bible says that he created man and woman to be in covenant with one another now, I don't care what the government has said or what the government has put in place. And, hey, listen, I love you, my brother and my sister, if you may be watching. But I just have to stand on the word of God come on, come on. and says that uh, marriage is between a man and, and a, a woman. woman. I'm sorry. Listen, <laughs> you, know, you know the saying, sorry, but not sorry. Yeah. OK, so we sorry, but not sorry. We have to make you make sure you understand that we trust in the word of God and the yes. word of God is true. It's real. God's word can't come back to him void. So I'm trying to tell you, like Pastor Shannon said, marriage is between a man and a woman. And people have to understand that. Like you said, the government says. Mm-hmm. The government has their say, right. but Jesus Christ has his say, and That's his right. say is final. But can I just share this with you? Go ahead. Um, I want to share, because we were talking about communication, yes. and how communication is definitely one of the major, it's several keys to the kingdom, yes. but one of the major c- components, one of the major keys to a healthy marriage or a healthy relationship, not just in marriage, but just relationships with your family, friends, people that you're in covenant with. You have to learn how to communicate. And I have seen in the kingdom, we know how to we know how to shout together. We know mm-hmm. how to sing together. We know how to prophesy and jump off and feed off of each other when it comes down to a word. But I'm telling you something. We don't know how to communicate. And what happens is when we don't communicate, people uh, take a, a, a story and they will assume and they will create their own vision mm-hmm. and their own w- way and how things are forming. They yes. will form their own opinion about the situation. Mm-hmm. But if you come to them and you talk to them and say, my sister, my brother, yes. it was not like that. That's not how I meant it. I said the, but I really mean that. You know, so you have to mm-hmm. really, really learn how to communicate. And let me just throw this at you as well you know when people have to understand when you're gifted Mm -hmm. the word of god says put your gift at the altar if you have an alt between your brother and your sister Mm -hmm. the holy spirit says the word of god says Put your gift at that altar. Lay your gift down at the altar. Go find your brother or your sister who you have an art with. Try to iron it out. Mm -hmm. And if you can't iron that situation out... Keep your gift still at the altar. Don't go try to pick that thing mm-hmm. up and try to try to prophesy your way through this thing. That's nope. Right. Leave that gift right there. Go find the elders of the church mm-hmm. and y'all, all three of y'all, sit down and work this situation out. But that's the way it's supposed to be. But yes. we as kingdom workers, we don't know how 
to communicate. That's true. And this is why in the kingdom we have more broken relationships. Mm. More bro we have more divorces. And I'm not just talking about married divorces. I'm talking about friendship divorce. Yeah. I divorce my friend. I divorce my sister in Christ. That's not the way the kingdom is supposed to run. That's and then right. I'm just going to throw this last piece at you as well. And John, 1 John, the first chapter, mm -hmm. the ninth verse, it says right here. I'm just going to show you this. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive. People of God, y'all yes. need to learn how to forgive. Okay? Yes. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful. Meaning, God is faithful mm -hmm. and just to forgive. Yes. And if God can forgive, how come you say you can't forgive? That's and true. And you say you walk and talk and thirst after God? I'm, I'm made in his image. Woo. Yeah. We don't serve a bipolar Jesus. Come on. That's we right. don't serve a bipolar Jesus. Then I'm going to finish. And it says, Okay, I'm going to read it again. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us mm -hmm. our sins mm -hmm. and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. unrighteousness. Yeah. So when you forgive, that means you become clean again. And what? It's from all the, all the sin, the, all the issues that you have. So I feel like if Jesus, our God, our Lord and Savior, Come can on. forgive us, for mm -hmm. our sins that we have committed, Ooh. known and unknown, Come on. heard and unheard, Come on. lie or uh, unlie, Come on. hidden, unhidden, well. then how come we can't learn how to forgive one another mm -hmm. when we have alts with each other? Wow. You want God to heal you. You want God to set you free. You want God to uh, 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 pour down money from the sky for you. Mm. Well, you need to learn how to start forgiving. We block our own blessings. We block our own ministries from growing. We block our own wealth. We block our own uh, success in life. Wow. Because we don't learn how to forgive. We don't even know how to forgive. Oh, I forgive you, but I, I can't forget. If wow. you're going to forgive, then you need to learn how to forget about it too. Don't keep rewinding that tape. Because that's what's going to keep you stuck. I'm done. Wow. That is some powerful stuff. That is some powerful stuff. You Listen, forgiveness... Is I'm telling you, it, it, it's a whole nother key right there that we probably just need to talk about forgiveness one day on the broadcast. Yes, just for sir. the simple fact is that, you know, so this this is my own personal testimony, and this is when I was going through my healing and I was going through my deliverance and things of like of that nature. You know, uh, that same scripture that, that that you just pointed out, as yes. well as other scriptures. You know, um, I was trying to find the scripture really quick, but the Bible says that. In the measure that you forgive, Come so on. shall God shall forgive. forgive. Yeah, I, I know what you're and, talking about. Right. And so then, um, you know, be, before you start accusing other people yeah. of some things, yeah. take out the long plank out of your eye. Come on. <laughs> and, and then, you know, and the, the scripture talking about, you know, take out the plank from out of your eye. So you need to learn how to forgive. Yeah. Um, and when we hold unforgiveness Come in our Ooh. heart. Glory a lot God. of times that unforgiveness cause sickness in our body. Sometimes it can cause death. All day. I'm telling you. And and and, and we have to learn how to release it. The Bible says, uh, uh, cast all your cares upon the Lord. Come on. Because he cares for you. And so if Jesus so easy forgave. Yes, sir. So one of the examples that Jesus gave us, he was dying on the cross. Come on. And while he was dying on the cross, they was falsely accusing him. Whipping he him. said, whipping him. Okay. They, they done whipped him. They, they done, done beat him. Beat they him. done put a crown of thorns on his head. They done nailed his feet, nailed his hands. And while he's standing there hanging, taking his last breaths, he said, Father, forgive Listen. them. Because they don't even know what they're doing. Listen. Listen. And I'm telling you right now today, is that if Jesus can ever so easily forgive yeah. so I, I i guess this this is why a lot of people i guess they would look at me kind of like um how do you say um not nonsense but you know the not nonsense i guess um you're like a no -nonsense it, person. Not, not a nonsense person like kind of kind of like ignorant because if somebody do something to me mm -hmm. and then once you know once i get it out of my system i'm like no i'm gonna forget them for that 
you okay, know that. Okay, so you, you, you learn how to release that. Yeah. You you release fast. Yeah. And, and sometimes that is hard to do. Yeah. I know for myself I had a problem with releasing um, fast. Mm-hmm. So God has put me on a um, time limit. Mm-hmm. So sometimes I have 24 hours, mm-hmm. 48 hours, or 72 hours mm-hmm. to release something. Yes. You know, it depends on the measure of the situation. Yeah. Some things are too just trivial. And then some things, he'd be like, release that thing in about 10 minutes. Come on. Go mm-hmm. ahead and ramp and rave. Go ahead and you know, trip out, say what you guys say, and let that thing go. Don't mm-hmm. even worry about it. Mm-hmm. You know, so God has put time on me. Right. And with that, I saw that that helped me to, um, it released my mind. Yes. And it kept me from talking about it all the time. Mm-hmm. And if I do talk about it, it's jokingly now. It's not yeah. like bitter yeah. conversation. You know, and we have to understand there's a lot that goes along with forgiveness it's so mm-hmm. much that goes along with communication it is you know what i mean and i just i'm so glad you know that we have our honest box that we mm-hmm. meaning that we can actually be honest with one another yes. we don't get we have rules with honest box we don't get angry mm-hmm. we don't fuss we don't fight mm-hmm. we don't cuss each other out and mm-hmm. most of all we don't walk out because his honesty to me is actually is one of the reasons why I love him because he's honest with me. Mm-hmm. He'll tell me something that nobody else won't tell me. And there's no need for us to be husband and wife if we can't be honest with yes. one another, you know what I mean? And that's a lot of the issues with um, a lot of marriages because yeah. they got this whole stupid saying of happy wife, happy life. But mm-hmm. let me tell you something. Yeah, you could be trying to make her happy mm-hmm. and she can be tearing the whole house down all at the <laughs> damn on. same time. That's right. So what's the use of her being happy and she's tearing the house down? Mm-hmm. No, no. Tearing the foundation because the house needs a foundation to stand on. That's true. And if she's destroying the foundation, mm-hmm. then won't stand because the, it, it don't take but a second for somebody to blow on it and it goes down to the ground. It yes. crumbles. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't want you to just have, I, my husband already know we don't do that happy wife, happy life. And if he feels as though I'm getting upset because he's telling me the truth, he reminds me. Mm-hmm. He says, honey, remember you told me you want me to tell you the truth. And you know, immediately that brings me right down. Mm-hmm. I sure did. Mm-hmm. I have to eat my own words. My words can't come back void. Yeah. And one of the things that um, that I appreciate appreciate about our marriage is that you know I, I told my wife even just recently, you know I said uh, the reason why I love her and the reason why that I really appreciate our marriage is because I don't have to hide anything. Oh, I can tell her on, any like and everything. Uh, so this is what's going to help repair your relationship with people and help repair your relationship with your marriage, with your husband, or with your wife. Uh, just for the simple fact is that if you learn how to become very honest, because, again, communication is key. But I've learned just in our marriage how you communicate is also key. Because we could communicate and we could fuss and fight with one another and we could talk and we can, you know, uh, uh, disagree with something. Mm-hmm. But if we're constantly yelling at each other it's not back and working. forth, that truth ain't it working. Is not, that truth is not working. It's not. It's not. Nope. It's, it's going to be a screaming match. It ain't going to be truth telling. Yeah. It's going to just be a screaming match. And there's no need for us to scream mm-hmm. and belittle one another. So we do our best not to, not only just to communicate but to communicate properly. Yes. Tell the truth properly. Yes. Meaning, let's have a a, a level head. Mm-hmm. Sometimes he say, well, honey, I got to tell you something, but I, I need to go get myself together so I can deliver it properly to you. Yeah. And I may say, honey, I know you got something to tell me, but I need to go get myself together so I can receive it. Yeah. So I want to receive it because I do want to change, you know. And mm-hmm. I tell my husband all the time when he tells me something about myself. And I tell him, I said, well, honey, I do want to work on it because I do want to change. Because one thing mm-hmm. I don't want to ever do to my husband is offend him. What I don't want to ever do to him is tear him down and make him feel small. Make him feel like he's not doing his job. When it it's not him. It's me. 
Mm -hmm. And we as women, because we're emotional creatures, we're emotional women, yes. you know, and we are carriers. We are carriers yes. of the word. Yep. We are carriers of natural being. Our children, they grow inside of our babies, grow inside of us. We mm -hmm. carry gifts. We carry the presence of God. We carry things. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so with us being carriers, you got to remember that you don't carry and harbor anger and frustration yes. that you carry love and kindness and, 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 and obedience and be okay with somebody telling you the truth you don't always have to be right that's right women stop yeah. we don't always have to be right it's okay for our husbands to be right yes. and it's okay to say honey you was right mm -hmm. i was wrong mm -hmm. you know and because and see we always want the men to say honey you right i know i'm right Mm -hmm. That's not the way. I, I'm sorry. That's that's a Jezebel spirit. Mm, that's mm -hmm. a Jezebel spirit. And you saying, uh, well, I, I I mean, I am right, yeah. But the way you doing it is that's wrong. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a Jezebel it's in the wrong, spirit. Wrong spirit. It, it's in the wrong spirit. Yes. That's a Jezebel spirit, and that's brewing. That thing is brewing, mm -hmm. and that thing gonna manifest itself. It's going to come out, and I'm telling you something. You're going to be spiritually regurgitating on your 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 children, regurgitating mm -hmm. on your household, yes. regurgitating spiritually on your husband. And I'm going to say you're going to destroy the, the foundation. Yes. We don't want to destroy the foundation. That's right. That's right. And so, again, as we're just winding things up, let me just give you a few key pointers here. Is that, again, number one, communicate with your spouse learn how to communicate number two learn learn properly mm -hmm. how to communicate yes. number three learn how to be honest oh I, I was gonna say please tell the truth <laughs> yes. i was gonna say that but i'm so glad yes. you said be honest be honest yeah about who you really are yes like and i'm talking about everything about you everything about you yeah and i think the last point i wanted to say is that um you're gonna have to learn how to forgive in your marriage Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, you have to learn how to forgive. <laughs> That's amazing. And learn how to forgive the stuff before y'all yeah, were married. Yeah, come on, come and on. And stuff while you yeah, guys are married. married. Yeah. I'm telling you. So, um, we only have a few minutes. You want to end us in some prayer really quick? Oh, sure. Yes. Well, Father, we thank you right now. Yes, we thank Lord. you for our, our brothers and sisters in Christ. Father, we thank you for... Uh, Allowing us to repair the breach, repair yes. our marriages, God. Yes. God, we just thank you right now for the men and women out there that are trying to save their marriage. God, we ask you right yes, now to give Lord. them the proper antidote, God, yes, to help Lord. save their marriage, God. God, we just thank you for giving us knowledge today, God, yes, on how Lord. to save marriages and what can be helped to them to help yes, teach Lord. them how to communicate better and, and heal from different things that have happened in the past, God. God, we just thank you today. God because yes. we know God you love marriage the yes, enemy wants to come in and steal and kill and destroy the happiness that marriage can bring yes. us and God we just thank you right now we bind up the hands of the enemy we yes. come against every satanic altar God yes. that tries to separate our, your people yes. separate the people of God not yes. only just in their marriages but in relationships covenant relationships mm, as sisters and yes. brothers in Christ the enemy tries to come and we bind that spirit right now yes. in, in the, the name, name of Jesus, Jesus. God Yes. we just come against it right now that if we have an ought father give us the strength to go to our brothers and sisters and yes. be able to say I have an ought with you can we iron this thing out my yes. God from Zion God give us the strength that we don't allow pride to come in and take over and ride us to the point and we make us feel like we're always right and yes. everybody else is wrong God we bind that spirit right now in the mm. name of Jesus God in we ask you for peace Jesus. we ask you for joy hallelujah. we ask you for love God and understanding God hallelujah that we will respect one another. Yes, respect. We'll respect one another. In another name of Jesus, yes. we must learn how to respect her yes. in Jesus' name. And in God, we Jesus just give you name. praise, yes. glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, we want to thank you guys so much yes. for tuning in. And listen, join us every single Friday at 1.30 p.m. Yes. And uh, next week, we're going to be on again together. Yes, we are. Amen. So, <laughs> see you guys later. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a blessed weekend. God bless you. For more information on today's Spotlight Church, 
visit them on the internet and follow them on social media. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network. And until next time, remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us.